Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on the physical implementation of the user project wrapper in Caravel. In this video, we will start with the RTL we have developed previously and go through the steps of synthesis, placement, routing, static timing analysis, and physical verification. This includes editing configuration files for OpenLane and running the implementation using the make file. Before we start, please make sure that you have created a repository, clone the repository, and run setup and have already developed the timers RTL and integrated the design in the user project wrapper as shown in the previous video. Now let's begin with the first step of hardening our design. We already changed user project example to user project timer, which is our design. We should now open the open lane folder and rename the folder using user project example to user project timer. We can also change the base user project example.stc file to the base user project timer.sec for consistency. Then we start editing the configuration file for the project. The file is at open lane user project timer fig.json. First, we will change the design name to user project timer and the base stc file to base underscore user underscore project underscore timer.stc. Second, we need to add our Verilog files to the variable for Verilog underscore files. First, user project example.v is now user project timer.v. Second, we need to add our timer Verilog file. Now let's consider the macros die area. We are going to choose a macro die area of 200 by 3000. The 3000 will span the IOs from 26 to 37 on the left, and the 200 will span the WB ports from the bottom when placed on the left bottom corner in the user project wrapper. This can be visually understood when we take a look at the layout after implementation. So let's edit the die area to 00, 0 200, 3000. To configure the IO placement, we can change the order of the pins in pin underscore order dot config, which can be found in the open lane user proj timer directory. This configuration file syntax is as follows. Hashtag S means the following pins will be placed on the south. Hashtag E means east, and so on. First, we can open our Verilog files to review the pins. We have the wishbone clock and reset signals, as well as IOs 0 through 11. We're going to place the wishbone clock and reset on the south. And since we connected the pins from 0 to 11 in user proj timer to the IOs 36 to 37, we need to place the IOs 0 through 11 on the left in reverse order so that pin 0 is at the top and pin 11 is at the bottom. To do so, we can edit the IOs to be ordered on the west using hashtag W, and we can add R to make it hashtag WR so it will be ordered in reverse. Then list the IOs from 0 to 11. Now we can start running the design using make user underscore proj underscore timer in a terminal in the root directory of our project. After a couple of minutes, hardening the macro has finished. As we can see in the terminal, there are some warnings, so let's check the warnings one by one. First, there are 16 warnings related to linting with regards to the Verilog RTL. Those can be reviewed, but they do not prevent us from completing physical implementation. Second, there are four warnings with standard cells that were black boxed during STA. The four standard cells are physical cells that have nothing to do with STA, so they can actually be black boxed, and there is no issue. Next, the variable vsource loc files is not defined. This file is used in IR drop analysis, which we are not reviewing at this level, so that's okay. Lastly, there are max fanout violations in the typical corner. Those are okay since there are no max cap or max transition violations. Generally, max fanout is a soft constraint that can be modified or waived. Now the macro has been hardened successfully. Design is also LVS and DRC clean since it didn't fail in the flow. We can check the antenna violations in open lane runs, last run folder, reports, sign off, 43 hyphen, antenna underscore violators dot report. But there are none, so that's great. Now we can harden the user project wrapper, which will have our macro, and this is what will be integrated into Caravel. So let's go to the open lane folder, user project wrapper. 
First, we will edit the config.json file. We need to change the macro variables to point to our newly hardened macro. Verilog files black box should point to the gate level netlist of the user proj timer that we recently hardened. Same goes for extra lefts, extra GDS files, extra libs, and extra spefs. Second, we need to change the macro placement position to MPRJ1515N so it is at the bottom left corner, which is closer to the IOs. You can find the macro.cfg file in the open lane slash user project wrapper directory. Finally, run make user project wrapper. Now, the user project wrapper has also been hardened successfully. We don't have any warnings that we're not aware of. That completes the physical implementation of the user project wrapper in Caravel. In further videos, we will look at rerunning simulation using the gate level netlist generated during physical implementation, as well as running static timing analysis for the design integrated with the full Caravel chip.